Good evening, everyone. Chris here. We're uh, about to open up a special present that Brent Schreiner, who's the chairperson of the Canadian Heroes Foundation, sent to me. Brent is currently in Germany and made the long trip to, to France on, on a few occasions now. And inside this package is if you remember what I, I put down beforehand, is a charcoal rubbing of two memorial stones. So inside these envelopes, I will show you what I have here. This is uh, my cousin, Lauren Boyer. And Lauren died on the first day of the Battle of Hill 70, August 15, 1917. It was uh, a terrible, terrible campaign. We lost just under 9,000 soldiers over basically a, a one week period, roughly. Uh, Lauren's body was never found and his name is on our Vimy Memorial in France and uh, Brent uh, went by and did a stone rubbing. Uh, a little small world story is McLean's magazine was over when our Prime Minister, uh, Prime Minister Trudeau was over and there's a picture of him walking by the memorial, by the names and uh, brushing his fingers along the names of our fallen heroes and Cousin Lorne uh, was basically just above where our Prime Minister was. So just kind of one of those neat, neat little stories, I guess. And then here I have a picture of my grandfather. And my grandfather served in both wars. He enlisted in World War I and back in the day... Um, we were basically running out of men and they started accepting basically young kids, young men, and they said, go home, I guess, and get your parents to sign this paper. And well, he couldn't join under his legal name. So he used a cousin's name <laughs> and did an entire tour of World War One, and then, um, went back in World War Two and uh, died just after the landings in, in Normandy, uh, July 21st and 44. And he's buried in uh, Brettville sur Lys. Uh, we have just under 3,000 of our soldiers buried there. And Brent went and um, did a stolen rubbing of my grandfather there. Now another kind of small world story is, no doubt they both knew each other and they, they were probably together. Now, Cousin Lauren here in Norfolk remembers in the book, uh, The Great Folks Out in Simcoe, Ontario, I have my great uncle, uh, Clayton Boyer, and Clayton and Lauren met together at the front lines when one uh, unit was relieving the other. And the story goes that they met for about an hour, had a great time, had some good laughs, and um, there's basically about a two-page story in their book about uh, about Lauren and meeting Clayton there. So right here, Kelly's going to open this up, and uh, we will all see exactly what's in here. And this came from uh, from Brent, like I said. So it's the first time for me seeing this. And those pictures there. Kelly's going to put in these shadow boxes that we brought. So, holy smokes. This soil was collected from the grave of the unknown soldier on Hill 70. It honors all those who were never found. Wow. Yeah. Holy cow. And about the unknown soldier, too, it's... It's a secret 
that we'll never know. And it's something, honestly, we as a country should not know. But when you, if you don't know what happened in World War I, this was pretty much World War I uh, a lot. Um, the bodies were moved quite a bit, you know, two, three times, some of our soldiers. There was no rhyme and reason a lot of times as to where they were buried. So um, who knows? Lorne here could be the unknown soldier. Um, we'll never know that story. And it's... Uh, it, it's a good story, and I'm kind of worried someday that, uh, you know, DNA. But anyways, so um, that's just a little sidebar to that. And speaking of DNA, the, uh, our Canadian government and uh, some of our doctors, they're doing phenomenal work overseas. And I registered my DNA with the Canadian government, and I'm telling some of the younger ones as well in the Boyer family that... Um, they could get a phone call at some point saying that um, Lauren's body was discovered or, or parts thereof because uh, they're, the story is not really told a lot, but um, uh, the soldiers in World War I, uh, the bodies that are never find, they died a very, very violent death. Even my grandfather, I heard uh, some of the stories and not for me to say on, on the video here, but uh, it's just something to get ready for. I talked with another family that lives out Port Dover Simcoe Way who just went to France. And um, there was another soldier as well from another neighboring unit. The body was discovered last year. So pretty small world stories. Every time this happens, I kind of hold my breath and wonder if it's going to be Lauren's body that they, uh, that they find. But... Anyways, so that's that soil. Wow. <laughs> so here's the charcoal rubbings that uh, Brent did of uh, Lauren's name on Vimy and Grandpa's grave and Brettville Sir Lee's. And if you're ever on Google Maps, Brettville Sir Lee's, um, you can't miss it from the satellite because there's a big red maple leaf in the parking lot. You may not know it if you're there in person, but when you look at it from outer space, it's, uh, it's, it's something else. That is incredible. And the Commonwealth War Graves Commission, they do an absolute incredible job. And all these stones, oops, they were just redone. And I'll, I'll tell you another little story here that I have to tell. There's one of the people that's a bagpiper in the Black Watch out of Quebec. And um, the Black Watch and my grandfather's unit were together the Battle of the uh, Veray Ridge, and the Germans were just giving it to us over that period. And he actually told me a story. He was over in France um, for a ceremony at the cemetery where Grandpa there is buried. And he met one of the caretakers that takes care of the cemetery. And he only had one arm. And his son was there too, and he told the story that when he was a little boy, he lost the arm in a bomb blast. And he's given back now, uh, you know, to our country for what we did working there, keeping our graves in, in the excellent condition that they are. And uh, they are everywhere throughout Europe. Commonwealth Graves Commission does an absolutely incredible job. So that's, uh, that's Grandpa's there. So why don't we roll that up, okay. tell you, and then we'll, we'll see what uh, we'll see what Brent sent from Vinny. So just 
couple little stories and when we launched our, uh, our, our, our flags for the fallen program for our, our heroes that are all over the world, um, another soldier was in France and he put the very first flag on grandpa's grave. And at the, almost the very same time he did that, I was at my father's grave who was in the Royal Canadian Air Force in the Second World War on his grave out of the vet's plot in Simcoe where he's buried. So here we go. This is from the Vimy Memorial. Okay, there we go there. This would have been a lot harder obviously to do, but you can see you can see the Boyer name right there. And uh, that's incredible. So Brent, thank you for doing this. And uh, I encourage everyone to get online, do some research, and, and learn more about what our heroes did for us.